Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Sean all here. About to give you another WWE Immortals video. In this video, we talk about rivals and allies and the best combination for both. And as you can see, one of the more viable options is using Evolve John Cena, No 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 Daniel Bryan, or the other Daniel Bryan, considering John Cena is the easiest card Daniel to Bryan. use solo in a gold roll in farming battles. You can also use the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, and the reason Sheamus. that his ability is so good, Sheamus and his teammates have 10% increased health. So as you can see, John the allied Cena. buff from John Cena gives an additional 5% health and attack. And as we know, John Cena is the most annoying at 20% health, as every 20% health, he gains one times damage, two times damage, three times, five times, and then ten times damage, and he can do upwards of a thousand damage at under 20% health. And we're actually going to do a quick demonstration of that just to show how powerful Cena's passive ability is, and just to show why stacking health is a godsend. It begins. Who will come out on top? We're going to actually take some hits here as we're got two minutes and 20 seconds. I don't even know if this lineup can actually get Cena's health down low enough in two minutes. So there we go. And there's the 1,435 damage as we purposely almost threw that fight just to show how ridiculous Cena gets at 20% health. 13,640 XP, 1,250 credits. So that is probably the best roll for John Cena. And you can also use Sheamus to further complement Cena's health buffer. And that's one of the rare exceptions where actually having a silver card is more useful. The other exception is Triple H. Now, as far as Brock Lesnar goes, there are a couple good matchups. I like using Cyborg Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. You can also pair him up with Big Lumberjack Show. Big Show for a rival boost. And we don't actually have the Gold Undertaker, Undertaker. so we're going to use the Silver Undertaker just for example. And this is a ton of health, but a lot of regeneration. You can also use Brock Triple Lesnar. H and just mow down people. Especially if you use Cyborg Brock Lesnar. But this is a better use for The Undertaker and The Big Show. You really need to get them to do super boost to really do any damage. So as far as using The Big Show and The Undertaker together, they can soak up a ton of health. So having 10% damage is not going to affect them. I think they even still have 5% health and damage. 
But Brock Lesnar will have 20% regeneration. So we're going to compare that with The Undertaker. Even though we use Cyborg Brock Lesnar, we're going to see who gets the three bars first. So Big Show comes in. And we're going to do a second fight with the Authority Triple H and the King of Kings Triple H. Just to show why both scenarios are actually very viable. So we did actually get some hits in with Brock Lesnar, so it should be no surprise that he'll hit three bars first. So we're going to go up the Timba on the Big Show. Hits for 1976. Almost gets rid of him. The Rock with an electrified suplex blocked for 419. And normally in a scenario, you don't want to keep the Big Show in past his passive ability. As soon as we get to three bars on Brock Lesnar, we still wipe out the Rock. There it is. Electrifying suplex block. So we're going to go off the F5, and the Rock is eliminated. And sometimes being able to get super moves off the tag while other people are doing damage is actually more effective than having damage and health. And when you have three cards with a ridiculous amount of health, you can actually afford to use some rivals. That giant drop is actually going to do a decent amount of damage. So we're going to go off the Tombstone Pile Driver on the Big Show and get rid of him. This actually shows off the Undertaker in a rival role. Triple H is in. He has two bars. Cyborg Brock Lesnar is back to one bar. And he can hit three, no problem, before the timer runs out. So there's a face buster. Purposely take that so we can get off a second Tombstone Pile Driver. And this is one of the advantages of using Dead Man Undertaker for the simple fact that he can get off a super move really quickly. So there's Triple H, and he is doing a lot of damage to the Undertaker. We're going to have a timber we got blocked for 376, and now we are going to have to use Brock Lesnar. Keep in mind, when you're using two rivals, it's very good to have Brock Lesnar pretty much come in for special moves. We have 25 seconds. We have plenty of time to get to three bars, no problem. And we're going to go off the F5, and the Authority Triple H is eliminated. Now, of course, you also generate power 20% faster when you take this. 5,907 damage for the victory in the second demonstration fight. 13,680 XP, 1,242 credits. So in our third demonstration matchup, we're actually going to use the Authority Triple, Triple H along with Triple the H. King of Kings Triple, Triple H. H. And we're actually going to give Triple H back his face paint from John Cena. Triple H. Brock Lesnar. And we're going to take the sword for Brock Lesnar, just so we can Brock do a little bit more Lesnar. basic damage. So the idea for this fight is that Brock Lesnar has two allies, giving him 10% health and damage, making him a truck. And Triple H also has 5% damage. But the main kicker is that the authority Triple, Triple H, H is H. passive ability. Best for business, Triple H and his team gain a 10% damage increase for each gold character on your team. So now Cyborg Brock Lesnar actually has 30% more damage, not the 10% showing. And Triple H actually has 20% damage as well. So in our third demonstration fight, we have the Hound of Justice Roman Reigns. Yes, Movement Daniel Bryan and Dead Man Undertaker. And yes, we are doing these fights within Bonus Battle 4, as I have completed it already. Watch out. This one's going to be brutal. So you see Cyborg Brock Lesnar hitting for 236. I'd probably go a little higher if I actually upgraded that sword. Now we're going to get Triple H in, hitting for 347 with heavy attack. Usually takes Cena about double damage to do that. We're also going to try to get off a super move with Triple H and see if we can hit 10,000 damage. I'm pretty sure we can, but don't count that out. So Cyborg Brock Lesnar and Triple H are both at a bar. The 40 Triple H finally hits a bar. Chokeslam block for 277. Now I figure rather than talking about the strength and benefits, you can actually see them for yourself. And that's why we're actually doing these fights. Triple H is at two bars. Undertaker is about to get at his dead man. 
So Roman Reigns comes in. Superman punch blocked for 663. And now this is when we're going to start unloading on Roman Reigns. We still have about a minute and 27 left, so we have plenty of time to do this. Daniel Bryan comes in. We're just going to light him up really quickly. We do take some Phantom damage, however. And that could have been bad. Superman punch on Brock Lesnar. He really doesn't even hit him down. And a Dragon Screw hits. So we got a lot of bug damage going on. And we haven't seen the Authority Triple H in action. There's the Undertaker back in. And he did regenerate quite a bit of health. Sorry to go off the Sledgehammer pedigree on the Undertaker from the Authority Triple H and get him at his dead man. You will get the chance to play the game. And now we're going to go off the F5 after the last ride and get rid of the Undertaker. So we have a Sledgehammer pedigree for Triple H and Brock Lesnar is just a monster with 10% health and 30% damage. I, am the beast I don't know exactly how much damage that did. Now hopefully Roman Reigns comes in. I really want to see how much damage Triple H can do, although it doesn't look like it unless we can wear him down. Superman punch block for 354. And there is Daniel Bryan. Roman Reigns coming back in. So now we're going to have to get off the Sledgehammer pedigree and make sure we have enough time to deal with Daniel Bryan. We won't get to see exactly how much damage this does, but I'm sure it's pretty close to 10,000. Had to get rid of him there. So Daniel Bryan comes back in. And Daniel Bryan is eliminated for the third demonstration fight. 13,720 XP as Triple H hits level 32, 1,269 credits. So in our fourth demonstration fight, we're actually going to do a couple allies here. We've got Daniel, Daniel Bryan. Bryan. And the best way to use him is actually with Seamus and Cena. You can also use two Triple H's. Daniel and Bryan. as you can see, double rivals. Now he gains adrenaline 20% faster. It doesn't really benefit the Authority Triple H. However, it will do 20% more damage, just like with Brock Lesnar. So you can also use that. Now, obviously, the King of Kings Triple H cannot benefit from himself. So you can use No, No, No Daniel Bryan in a heavy adrenaline roll and get off super moves and special moves faster. This is actually not a bad option. We're going to see who else Daniel, Daniel Bryan, Bryan has as a rival. It looks like we only have the Demon Kane, so we're going to put him in. Kane. So we have double rivals for Daniel Bryan, and Triple H has an ally. We do lose the 20% damage, but we're just going to show off Daniel Bryan in a offensive and here they go. special yeah. machine. Keep in mind, his passive ability does favor this rival path, as he does attack 30% faster for 30% more damage when he has that building momentum buff. Sheamus comes in. I believe he's got the least health out of all three. Now, I generally don't like to use level one moves with Daniel Bryan as Air Goat does a ridiculous amount of damage. We're actually going to build up the two bars on Trish Stratus. Sheamus is about to go down. One more shot will do it. There he goes. And Nikki Bella comes in, flying goat, blocked for 834. We're going to get Triple H in and work on his bar. And there's Trish Stratus. So Triple H is at two bars. Still heavy hitting for about 306, as he does have one ally in play. So it's a little bit lower than with Triple H. Triple H head says he's blocked for 449. And a second whiplash for 449. Third one for 863. A lot of adrenaline game here. White Agus. We're going to go off the air goat on Trish Stratus. Almost knocks her out. Nikki Bella comes in. We're going to go off the choke slam from hell. And soften her up. So we're about one half life. So now Trish Stratus is back in. We're going to try to use Triple H to get rid of Trish. 
before the attack. That whiplash head scissors connects, and that could be a big mistake. Not quite. They don't want to take another one. Trish Stratus is eliminated. So now we're going to go off the Sledgehammer pedigree. And you can up this by 20% damage using the Authority Triple H. With an ally. 8,915 damage for the victory in the fourth fight as Triple H can hit over 10,000 damage with a super move. 13,760 XP, 1,296 credits. Now, as far as Roman Reigns goes, it might be very Roman tempting Reigns. to use Undertaker's for adrenaline game, but keep in mind, Roman Reigns is a very soft card. So my advice for Roman Reigns is you actually want to use him in an ally role. So we're going to put in Trish Stratus. I think Daniel, Daniel Bryan's Bryan. an ally. No, he's not. Trish Cena or Triple H are allies. So we're going to John put in Cena. Evolve John Cena. So Roman Reigns is definitely better utilized with 10% damage and health. And unfortunately, Trip Trish Stratus also follows that same role because unfortunately her passive ability rivals only really affect Silver Star. We'll ages. talk more about that after we do a fight. We'll do one multiplayer fight just to show off the adrenaline advantages for Trish, especially using Silver cards like Paige and Nikki Bella. Ground and Pound block for 691. Now with Roman Reigns, you definitely want to have more health and damage. Because he is very soft in both areas. But so being able to get that 10% with Roman Reigns is very important. And you see Brock Lesnar severely out damaging Roman Reigns. In my opinion, he's probably one of the worst farming gold cards in the game. And even though he does have a fast light attack, it's not very strong. And that's why we have additional gold cards in this fight. Brock Lesnar has like 11,000 health. Super move only puts him at about one third life. Irish Curse block. Cena's at about a bar and a half. We're gonna use him to wipe out Shane. Now that 10% health pretty much gives Brock Lesnar upwards of 13,000 health. Irish Curse blocks for 265. And we're going to go off the attitude adjustment, and Sheamus should be eliminated. Never give up. So Roman Reigns comes back in. Superman punch block for 134. Right, that one is going to connect. So Cena's at double damage, and he is definitely a very durable card. Ground and Pound does connect, but we'll put Trish at three bars. So we're going to go off the Stratus faction and put Brock Lesnar very low on life. Forcing Roman Reigns to come back in. 100% Stratus faction, guaranteed. <laughs> Roman Reigns comes back in. Superman Punch does connect for like 647. So 47 seconds to go. Work towards getting rid of this Roman Reigns. Brock Lesnar comes back in. So we're gonna go off the Halloween Spear and Cyborg Brock Lesnar is eliminated. Thirty-four. We're gonna go off the lift slam, and Roman Reigns is eliminated. Thirteen thousand eight hundred XP, one thousand three hundred twenty-three credits. Now, as far as the Undertaker goes, we do not have a gold Undertaker. We still have Brock Cyborg Brock Lesnar, and we have. A dead man Undertaker, so we're gonna use that as an example. Undertaker. Now, in normal cases, if you have a gold. Actually, I might have done that wrong. Triple H with Roman Reigns or Brock Lesnar. I think I did Triple that H. wrong. To so actually have ally rival, ally rival, and Undertaker has double rivals. Considering he has the least amount of damage, you wanna use Triple H and Brock Lesnar to KO people. You can also use 
Big Show with Daniel Bryan in a more defensive role. Big Show. You can have the Lumberjack Big Show along with Daniel, yes, Bryan. Daniel Bryan. And that'll give Undertaker and Big Show 10% more health and damage. Unfortunately, my Big Show is not able to go as he is at like two stamina. We could use the Daniel no, no, Bryan. no Daniel Bryan in the giant Big show. Big show, but again, the Undertaker really isn't ready to go for a fight. Now, you can also use Daniel Bryan along John with the ball Cena. John Cena. And the Triple King of Kings Triple H then has 20% adrenaline Triple regeneration. H. And this team just destroys people, let me John tell you. John Cena. You do not want to go up against this team in multiplayer because Cena will wreck John you. Cena. Triple H is a great starter. And Daniel Bryan is an extremely fast attacker. This is one of the more lethal combinations we have. So we're going to go and do this fight. And we do have an evolved John Cena. Let's get it going. Triple H hitting for 272, which is a little bit less than when we used the Authority Triple H. We also took away the mask and gave it back to Cena. So what probably happen in this fight, we'll actually trade some blows with John Cena. Banshee Rage blocked for 369. We can actually afford to do that since we have two cards capable of doing super boosts. We're actually going to have Cena pretty much go through his own health. We're going to go off the lift slam, but he got blocked, unfortunately. That was a big miss. So now John Cena's in. There's the one-time damage. you got to make sure you get Cena first. Because that one-time damage before the actual passive triggers can be dangerous. And I've been able to knock people out without even them getting hit. And that Cena Plex will put John Cena at three times damage. Probably actually in range with five. Yes, he is. Now, Triple H is at three bars. John Cena is slugging away at that. Cena plus block for 559 does not put him at 10 times damage. Right? So Brie Bella comes in, and Cena is doing phantom damage like crazy. That Ice Blast knocks out John Cena, and that's also extremely dangerous. So we're going to go off the yes, 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 and hope this is enough to get rid of John Cena. Now, you can also regen into higher... A lesser damage multiplier, so that could be used to your advantage if you're bordering three and five. And it did get rid of John Cena, so we're gonna go off the sledgehammer pedigree. And Paige is eliminated. I am the game. Obviously, using John Cena in many different ways is definitely no wrong way. You can go more offensive with Triple H or Daniel Bryan, or you can pretty much have John Cena captain a team by himself and just stack the hell out of his health. And Daniel Bryan is a good choice regardless for John Cena. Both of them are very quick attackers. 13,840 XP, 1,350 credits. So we have a couple more fights within bonus battle four, but we're going to talk really quick about the mat matchups. So you have the rival matchup here. John Cena. And you also have Sheamus for a ton Sheamus. of health for John Cena. And that's the best combination if you have some health gear. As far as Brock Lesnar goes, I still like The Undertaker with the Brock Big Show. Lesner. And the reason I Big like show. that is that you have a ton of health to go through Undertaker. regardless. So being able to have a rival is actually not a bad idea. Especially if you have a higher damage card like Cyborg Brock Lesnar starting off, letting the Big Show and the Undertaker get some power and pretty much attack off tags in super moves. And you can also use Big Show to pretty much mitigate damage and have Undertaker as a closer once he gets a couple KOs and ends up being more powerful than Brock Lesnar. In my opinion, that's the best way to go. And as far as Daniel Bryan goes, Triple I actually H. like the Triple double H. Triple H. And that's Daniel a very Bryan. nasty combo as well. Because not only will that up Daniel Bryan's adrenaline generation, it'll also ramp up Triple H's damage. And the Authority Triple H is one of the rare gems. And I think you can also use Brock Lesnar with Triple H and also Brock gain Lesner. damage that way. So I think Brock that's one of the Lesner. few gold allies. Yeah, he really doesn't have any allies, so that's probably the best way to up 
Cyborg Brock Lesnar's damage as well, if you want to go on a damage roll and not a tank heavy roll. So as far as that, you can also go Cyborg Brock Lesnar, King of Kings, Triple H, and the Lumberjack Big Show. And then you can also do a massive amount of damage using that combination. If you're using the Big Show, obviously there's better options than the Big Show. But as far as a three-man team, there's probably not much better. And you can also, with Roman Reigns, if you're using him, you definitely want to have Trish and Trish Triple H along with Roman you. I think that's Reigns. the best three-man team for Roman Reigns. And all the cards will benefit from damage and health. And having more health on Trish Stratus is definitely a good thing. Is you can definitely utilize her passive ability, White Egg, is better. And it doesn't block damage equal to 10% health, so they want you to use her as a blocking card, but clearly that's not the case. And the Undertaker, definitely, you want to use Big Show with the Undertaker, as that's just a big tank team. You can also use Evolve John Cena to basically have a ton of high health cards. You can also use Brock Lesnar in there. So having... Triple H in a rival role with Cyborg, Brock Lesnar, and The Undertaker isn't a bad option either because you can dish out a ton of damage. And now we're going to show Angelic Knight Trish Stratus in a power generation mode. So we're going to edit our team. We're going to put in Bolt Silver, Nikki, Nikki Bella, Bella Page, Page, and we're going to put in Trish Angelic Stratus. Knight Trish Stratus. And Trish Stratus. Wrong. How in the world is that right? Paige is double rival, but for some reason, Trish Stratus is allies with himself? That's kind of weird. Nikki Bella. Trish Stratus. So that makes no sense. He says they're rivals, but they're actually allies. I don't get that one. So really, Trish Stratus has no rivals. So you really can't use Adrenaline Gain on there, so you pretty much just soak up damage. You could use a big bulky card like that, so that's very Trish interesting Stratus. to know that actually the rivals are clogged with Trish Stratus. So if you like this video showing off the allies and rivals, also some tips, tips and tricks on how to use both, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other WWE videos, my playlist. Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood channels. And have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show Now. Subscribe, bitches!